Are you originally from the area? No, I'm from the south side of Chicago. South side of Chicago, okay. Uh, where'd you grow up? Uh, I grew up on in the Beverly area. Okay. Um, right outside of, I mean, it's in Chicago, but it's uh, on the right of the south side. That's right off of Western, actually. Western, oh. you could say, 119th. Nice, okay. You still, where do you live now? I live in, well, I mean, I currently don't have a house, but uh, yeah. hopefully, uh, you know, my dad lives in Riverdale, right outside of Chicago. My mom lives on the south side as well. I mean, she's sure. safe in Wabash, so. Cool, cool, cool. Um, did you have a nickname growing up? My nickname was Baby D, just because I'm named after my older, uh, my uncle. So he's uh, he has the same name. So Baby D. Baby D. Was that his nickname too? Or? No, his name is Darius as well. So oh, okay. they just call me Baby D. Baby so D. Baby when D. they say Darius, everybody's not uh, responding. Now, okay, so. that's cool. How long have you wanted the Camaro? Um, recently, um, you know. This whole process that I've been in, I've had my same car in Trevor Dodge and Trevor for the longest. And Intrepid, okay. It's uh, I've been driving since I was 15. Sure. It's 2000, so it's uh, pretty old, and it's it's kind of falling apart. And I wanted to treat myself to something, you know, new. And I looked at the Camaro, the, the Challenger, and the, uh, the ch uh, Charger. And out of the three, I really liked all three of them, but the Camaro kind of stood out to me. And uh, coming here, you know, I got a really, you know, good relationship with you guys now, so I, you know, I, I like the car. Cool, man. Yeah. That's, that's cool. So how many miles do you have in your truck, buddy? Um, 186,000. So, Holy cow, so man. So it's quite a bit. Uh, it's it's still running really well, you know. Uh, you know, for it to be an old car, taking good care of it, you know. So it, it's still working well for me, but I just want to treat myself to something new. Cool. Well, you, you deserve it, man. Yeah. A lot of hard work, you know. Thanks, so though. that's cool. Hey, would you mind if I recorded you a little bit? I don't know. I'm gonna try to set this up. See if you can get this going. We're not all big in Hollywood, <laughs> so hope you don't mind. All right, there we go. All right, taking off here. Uh, where's the first place you'll take your car when you get back home? Um, actually, a friend of mine is performing out in the cab right now at the moment, so I'm probably gonna leave here, um, try to catch that for a little bit, and then you know head back to you know Lake Forest where I'm standing uh, currently while I train. Cool. Performing, you said? So is he? Yeah, he's a he's a he's a football player. Actually, he's uh, playing with me, and he signed a free agent deal with San Francisco as well. Oh, but, wow. uh He's a singer as well, so he does it just for fun, because you know, just to kill time, something that you know, a hobby of his. So he's performing out there in Northern. We went to college, and I'm gonna go check him out. That's really cool. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a pretty, busy guy. Huh? He's pretty good. So I mean, he only does it when he's free. You know, he doesn't let it interfere with football. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, what is one talent you have that most people might be surprised to hear? Um, I'm a pretty avid bowler. And, bowler. Uh, yeah, and and I ride horses, so. That's something that <laughs> a little, ride horses. Yeah, I've been riding horses since I was six, probably bowling about the same time. And uh, right. I'm pretty, I'm a pretty solid bowler. I went to London when I was 15 for the Junior Olympics uh, to represent the U.S. in bowling. Um, really? Yeah. Olympics? Yeah. So oh, yeah. bowling was my first sport, um, but then I, you know, started playing football in high school and it's kind of taken over my life. You still bowling though? I mean, for a hobby, you know, just for fun, nothing serious. I actually went bowling yesterday in my high school for a little fundraiser. So oh, cool. that was the last time I've been in a while. What's your high score? 289. 289. Wow, that's pretty up there. Nice. Was playing for Notre Dame as magical as the movie Rudy made it out to be? It was funny. Uh, it, it was. You know, I wore his number as well, 45. So me and Rudy Did had really? a relationship. Yeah. Wow. Um, it was. It was everything that the movie uh, displayed. Uh, you know, every kid dreams they go there. They should because it's that special. You know, running out of tunnel is something that you can only experience and imagine if you do it. So. Uh, I really enjoyed every bit of it, and you know, I, I think it's helped me shape the way I am right now. So, cool. did you have a favorite hangout spot in South Bend? Um, you know, I didn't really go out that much, but when I did, I would usually, you know, hang out in my locker room. We had a really nice setup for um, entertainment with the game room and some of the guys, and you know, we had food and stuff like that. So, most of the time, we would hang out in there. But if not, we would go out to a couple of places out in town. Like Chipotle was probably our favorite. You know, we ate a lot. Chipotle? Is that the yeah. Mexican grill? Yeah. Okay. We, nice. we found ourselves there quite a bit. Um, that was one of my favorite hangout spots. Nice. What's your diet consist of now? Like your training? Right now, it's a lot different. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't eat any. You know, I don't eat fast food really. Um, okay. Even going out to eat, I, I really, you know, cook my food a lot just because my diet is kind of strict. Uh, sure. I stay away from a lot of sweets and sugars and things like that because it just turns into fat. So no, sure. I've been pretty disciplined with that and it's been working out really well. It's a lot of meats, a lot of red meats, or is it? Um, not really. I mean, I, I usually do chicken and fish, sure. but uh, every now and then I eat some steak or something like that. Cool. Let's see. What is the thing you'll miss the most about playing for Notre Dame? I think just my teammates. You know, guys that you've built relationships with for the past four years. 
everybody's going to different ways now. So it's kind of, you know, you got to build new friendships with, you know, grown men who look at the game a little different mm -hmm. than it was in college. So I just got to get used to that and then take it from there. And make new bonds and all that. Yeah. All right. Um, who was the fastest guy that you've ever had to cover on the field? Um, probably... Oh, that's a tough question. Um, the fastest person, I would have to say, you know, I'm gonna give a shout out to my teammate Michael Floyd. Um, yeah. And practice every day going against that kid was it was pretty difficult. So he helped me out a lot, and I hope I did the same for him. How do you think you'll fit in with the 49ers, considering that they have the best defense in the league right now, and they were a couple points away from going to the Super Bowl last year? Um, I think I can definitely be a, um, you know, an outlet, you know, for them. I think I can. Add to the unit, uh, like you said, they have a great defense, and I think that I can fit in well with the, the group of guys they have. Um, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to be mentored by some of those great players and linebackers like Patrick Woods. So I, I'm looking forward to, like I said, and I think it'll benefit me in the years to come. Cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that too. <laughs> awesome. Man. With all the different coaches you'll be working with, do you think you'll have much one-on-one -on -one interaction with Jim Harbaugh? Um, you know, that's a tough question. I'm not really sure. I know he's a, a big defensive guy, so I'm sure he has a lot of connections with the, the linebackers and the other guys on defense. So I think he'll have his share and say of, of what we do and have his relationship with us. So I'm looking, you know, I think it'll it'll definitely uh, be a presence in the defense. Just looking forward to it, though. Yeah. Awesome. Who on the 49ers are you most excited to meet and have a chance to learn from? Oh, definitely Patrick Willis. Uh, He's, a, he's still a young linebacker, but he's, he's, he's proved himself to be one of the best linebackers in the NFL. And uh, I know that he has the ability to teach me as a young player coming in and teaching me the ins and outs of the game and, and allow me, hopefully I can one day play like him. Great. What's your favorite movie of all time? Mm, the Titans. Mormon Titans. Yeah. Favorite song? Favorite song? Uh, probably have to say... <sighs> that's a tough one. Favorite song? I don't know if I have a favorite song. I don't think I can point out one song. Give a shout out to your friend that you're going to go see tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Nathan, Nathan Palmer. He's uh, he's actually a very good artist. So yeah. I'm looking forward to this little concert he has going on. Cool. Does he have any CDs out now? No. He doesn't. He, like I said, he doesn't take it that serious. But he's he's actually done a, uh, some pretty you know nice gigs with opening up for like Drake and oh, wow. and Lil Wayne and things like that. So he's uh, he's wow. had a he's had an experience and I think it's helping. Awesome. He's not. Yeah. Yep. Snickers, Kit Kat, or M&M's? Definitely Snickers. Uh, Snickers. You know, you gotta go Snickers. <laughs> what was the NFL team you rooted for when you were a kid? Um, being from Chicago, I had to be the Bears. Um, yeah. You know, just a hometown kid who cheered for every team that was in the city. You know, Bears, Bulls, Sox, and Cubs. So that was pretty much it. Yeah. If Brett Favre comes back from his third retirement and you get the chance to play against him, how bad do you think you mess him up? All the sack. <laughs> um, hopefully, you know, enough. You know, he's a great player. He's definitely a guy, that, you know, if he's out there, you want to get after him. So if he's playing against me one day again, I hope that I can uh, get after him and I tell my team, you know, win. What's your best memory on the football field? Um, best memory would have to be, I think, the last time I walked out of the tunnel, um, playing against, uh, what was that? Stanford, no, Boston College this past year. Mm -hmm. um, that was a memorable moment because it was the last time I worked out of town with, like I said, with those guys, those groups of guys that I, that I came in with. And uh, it was just a, you know, a special moment for, for everybody and just, you know, reminiscing about the whole uh, four years. Cool. You need a car, you know, you need uh, some good assistance on picking out a vehicle for the future to come. Grundy's a spot. Cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate that.